Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you eight tips in order to lower your ping in Fortnite. No matter whether you're on PC or console or mobile, I got tips for everyone. But starting off with the first tip, this is gonna be a little bonus tip in the video, is that if you use code flea in the item shop, it doubles your ping. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, it, it halves your ping. Code flea actually doubles everything else, but it does halve your ping. And well, okay, these skins in the item shop today actually look really good. Look at this, man. This actually looks really good. I might just go ahead and cop that right Right now. So for this first tip, I'm actually gonna have to bring out my camera and show you my internet setup. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Alrighty, I don't think that worked whatsoever. But anyway, coming on to this first tip is to get an Ethernet cable. Now, I know you've probably heard this a million times, but trust me, hear me out on this one. So as most of you know, I did get a new PC recently, but funny story, I was actually playing on Wi-Fi for like an entire week and I didn't even realize it until I got my PC optimized and the guy that optimized it actually said I was on Wi-Fi. Even though I had the Ethernet cable plugged into my PC, for some reason my PC was just running Wi-Fi and I didn't even realize. So as you can see, this is my setup. I got my new PC over there and this is my old PC. And actually what's on top of my old PC is this is my router. So this thing, I'm not sure if you guys saw the video, but this thing is actually my internet, bro. This thing is crazy. And on the back of it, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it actually has two Ethernet cables coming out of it. One going into my new PC. PC and one going to my old PC. But when I first moved into this house, the internet was actually downstairs. So I had to get a guy to route the cable upstairs. So I'm not sure if you can see it down here, but there's actually a blue cable coming out the wall and coming up and going into the internet. Basically what that guy did was he connected the internet box that was downstairs and run it up the side of the house, out through the wall so I could have the internet in my room. So I know a lot of people do actually have the issue that their PC or console is too far away from the internet. So that fixed my internet problem and as long as I got a good router which I did everyone in the house can now get internet all right anyway that was tip one let's go back into Fortnite for tip two all right and now for tip two now this one's for the creative warriors is make a custom creative and basically all you need to do to do this tip is to just press this button right here so it gives you the options go to the bottom right where it says custom options and you can put in whatever key you want press accept make sure you're on creative click accept again and click play so now you're going to be in your own custom creative I have no idea why this lowers your ping, but you cannot be connected to anyone. It's literally just you and yourself. And as soon as you spawn in, I have no idea why, but the game just feels so much better. Now, this is for only the people that can actually make their own custom games. So if you can't make custom games, I'm sorry, but this tip is for the people that can. The game feels good, man. It does feel really... Wow, okay. All right, now let's get on to the next tip. Now, while we're in creative, we might as well do another tip for the creative warriors, which if I go back to hub, this is the tip that people used to use back in season 10 when there was actually a glitch that would raise your ping. And this method right here actually fixed it. So as you guys know, there are featured islands in every hub that you go in. But unfortunately, these feature hubs are all preloaded in when you load into creative. So if I just join one of these hubs, it doesn't have to load anything in. Everything will be loaded in. So as you can see, Creative has actually loaded all this stuff in for you. And if you don't plan on playing any featured hubs, maybe you just want to do some 1v1s, then you definitely don't want to load all this in. So the tip I have for you is to go back to the hub and in fact, load up an empty creative. So I'm going to give you guys a code that will be up on screen now. And this code is basically an empty world that I made, which has nothing in it. It doesn't even have an island in it at all. So I'm pretty sure an island is 8,000 memory, but this map is literally two memory. Two memory out of 100,000, which means it basically loads in nothing. So as you can see here, Flea's map for zero ping. Basically, you don't need to go into the island. All you need to do is load it up. But just to show you what it is, is that it's literally nothing. There is nothing at all, which means the game doesn't have to load everything, therefore giving you better ping. Anyway, let's go back to hub. Now I'm gonna go and do this to every portal right now. This one, map for zero ping. And the last one over here, map for zero ping. So people used to do this and I don't see many people doing it anymore. I'm not too sure if it does anything, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So so as you can see here, one, two, three, and four, all islands are blank, nothing is loaded in. So now when you do your 1v1s or whatever you wanna do, the game should feel a lot smoother. Wow, the game is feeling so much better already. 
Now the next tip I have for you guys is probably one you've seen me use in a lot of videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave creative. Now this tip might sound a little crazy, but tip number four is actually default your entire locker. So that includes your skin, back bling, pickaxe, just everything, especially your gun camos, because these things actually animate. Like these animated gun camos are known to just destroy your FPS. So if you can live it without gun camos, just turn them all off. And once you have an entire default locker just like this, what you wanna do for future reference is actually save this preset I'm gonna save it just down here and I'm also gonna rename this preset to just low ping king so that right there is my low ping king preset if I ever want to get the lowest ping possible I'll just chuck on the default account and we're ready to go but ladies and gentlemen not only do default skins W edit speed but tip number five is actually making an entirely new default account this may sound crazy but hear me out so basically the theory behind a default account giving you lower ping and just making the game feel so much better is mainly to do with the friends so all your friends actually coming on and offline as you're playing the game you're getting invites maybe it's just so much things happening in the background that you don't need it to as well as having all your skins in your locker all the stats on your account just making an entirely new fresh account for me personally makes the game run a hundred times better I highly recommend you try it you've probably seen me run the default account in a few videos here and there it's definitely the way to go if you're serious about your ping alrighty so let's do this <laughs> so guys as you can see here we got all the zero ping maps in as well as we have the montage map let's go ahead and jump in of course I'm gonna go ahead and use code flea to halve my ping you already know the vibes and let's go ahead and start the game use code flea that's it use code flea let's go all right let's test out this zero oh yeah Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yo all right low ping got me wilding right now what's going on Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, okay, low pink flea, settle down. Oh, what? What just happened, bro? All right, guys, and while we're here, another tip is to actually turn off replays. You guys should know this by now. But if you go to the bottom of your settings right here, you can actually turn all replays off. So as you can see, I've already got them off on this account. I have one more tip for you in just a second. What was he doing? He was like stuck or something. <laughs> what just happened? That was the biggest pre-fire of my life. Oh, all right. So the last tip I have for you guys, and this is only for the PC players, is to just go into your settings and actually just turn down your resolution. So you can either turn down your resolution here or you can turn down your 3D resolution. And basically this is supposed to help FPS, but keep in mind that the higher your FPS, the better your response time is. And obviously response time and ping are both about delay. So having less delay is a lot better. So I've currently put my resolution onto 75%. The game feels, oh, the game feels so much smoother. This is crazy, bro. What? Let me know if you guys can see a difference in quality. Man, the game feels so much better. <laughs> so you can also take this down a lot more if you want. So let's go on like the lowest quality you possibly can. And here it is right here. So this is 1920 by 1080 at the lowest 3D resolution. So the game does feel really good, but it looks really bad. Oh, am I the fast Minecraft editor? What? Oh, <laughs> Yo, I'm insane on Minecraft settings, bro. No way. All right, but that is going to be it for this video, guys. So there is eight tips to lower your ping. I accidentally walked in here, but uh, don't forget to use code FLEA in the item shop and code FLEA in the Minecraft item shop as well. I don't even know if that's a thing. If you did make it to the end of the video, drop a blue heart in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.